الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين اللهم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to our weekly show titled Learn to Recite the Quran from Scratch I am your host Imam Sayyid Anisul Haqq and inshallah I will be accompanying you all on your journey to uh, you know, perfecting your Quran recitation from the beginning uh, up until inshallah you can become proficient in reciting the Quran So as usual of course we start this session with a revision session of the previous sessions what we have covered so far So to start off with we will be covering some of that which we have covered last in last session and that is pertaining to four rules to start off with, insha'Allah, we, last week we talked about a rule known as the rule of tenween. I'm going to summarize what the tenween is and thereafter move on to the next rule that we covered last week. So the first rule that we covered last week was the rule of tenween. Tenween can be described as a double fatha or a double kasra or a double dhamma. In a, 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 roughly a few sessions ago, we covered something known as the fatha kasra dhamma. And that is the, the vowels in the Arabic language which we use. And they are the sounds A, E, and U. As for the tanween, it is the exact same sound with an extra sound at the end of the word, and that is the N sound. So we say N, IN, and UN. N, IN, UN. That is regarding the tanween. Thereafter, we moved on to talk about the sakin. Some of you may know it as sukoon, others may know it as jazm, etc. The sakin is in loose English known as the silent vowel. As we just mentioned previously about the fatha kasra dhamma, you have a sound of a, e, u. When you have a silent vowel, you only pronounce the first part of the letter. So you will say, for example, if a ba has a sakin and the first letter is an alif for the fatha, you will say ab. Ib, Ub. You will not say Aba, Abi, Abu. You will just say the first part of the letter. Of course, we will get into the details of the certain sounds that you make. Sometimes you will make a bouncing sound. Sometimes, sometimes you will put emphasis on the letters with the sakin. We will get into that, inshallah, either today or in tomorrow's session. So that is regarding the sakin. So we have covered the tanween and the sakin. The next thing that we covered was the maddi asli. The maddi asli. We have to understand that in the Arabic language there are many prolongations and the example, the perfect example that we used is that which we recite at the end of Surah Al-Fatiha It's a long prolongation and prolongations which are known as mudud in Arabic are of many in the Arabic language or in Tajweed and the shortest or the natural mad from these mudud is known as the maddi asli maddi asli are three letters when you find these three letters followed by certain vowels you will prolong it for two counts and they are the letters alif wow and ya if alif there before it there is a fatha if ya before it there is a kasra and wow before it there is a dhamma then you will prolong it for two counts and we memorized a word for us to summarize the concept of maddi asli and that is the word nu ha nu wow before it a dhamma he, ya before a kasra, ha, alif before a fatha. Nu, he, ha. So if you memorize this word, you will understand the concept of the maddi asli. Thereafter, we moved on to the rules of the letter ra. The le rules of the letter alif, lam, and ra. These three letters, as mentioned in the second or third session, we mentioned that the letters are divided into how many groups? Three groups. We have one group that are known as the heavy letters. Letters that you do as a heavy mouth. We make a mouth into an oval shape. And they are summarized in the word khussa, dhaghtin, qidh. Seven letters. Kha, saad, daad, ghayn, ta, qaf, and dha. These are the heavy letters and they are always heavy. Then we have another category of the letters that are always light. And the third category are letters that are sometimes heavy sometimes light and they are three letters alif lam and ra alif lam and ra 
To summarize these rules, we had the rule of the letter alif. We mentioned that the default rule of the letter alif is that it is light. A. Ah. You don't say ah. However, there are exceptions to this rule, and that is when there is a heavy or a light letter before it. So, for example, if there is a heavy letter before it, like the letter qaf, then we will prolong it and we will say qa. The alif has automatically become in the sound of a ah because of the letter qaf. Right? So, you will say qala. You will not say qa'ala, you will say qa'ala. And similarly, on the contrary, if you have a light letter before it actually, then what will happen is you will make the letter light. For example, ja'a. So qa'ala, ja'a. As you can see, the alif is changing based on the letter that comes before it. That is the rule of the letter alif. Then we talked about the rules of the letter lam. The default rule of the letter lam is what? is that it is light. La, la. You don't say la, you say la. But there are exceptions to this rule as there are exceptions or as we mentioned about the exceptions for the rule of the alif. Lam, if it comes in the word Allah, lafzul jalala, there are certain rules that need to be applied. We, look, we need to look at the vowel before the word Allah. If there is a kasra before it, then it is light. For example, A'udhu billahi bismillahi However, if there is a fatha or a dhamma before it, then it is heavy. For example, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدَ قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدَ The word Allah has become heavy. Or for example, إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ the word Allah has become heavy because there is a dhamma before it. There's one very important point which I missed out, or forget to, forgot to mention in the last session, which I will mention now, is when we are analyzing the word Allah, lafzul jalala, ensure that we are making the word Allah heavy and not the letter before. What do I mean by that? For example, the, the example that I just give, qulhu, qulhu wallahu. If you separate the words, we have the word huwa, Allahu. It is the word Allah that is heavy and not the word huwa. So you don't say huwa Allahu. That's wrong. Huwa, huwa, huwa Allahu. Or for example, when you say Allahu Samad, you don't say Allahu Samad. Because if you remove the word Allah, there's no such thing as ah. Allahu. That's wrong. A. Allahu A. Allahu Samad. So this, in a nutshell, is the rule of the letter Lam when it comes in the word Allah Lafzul. Jalala. The third exception that we had from the letters is the letter Ra. The letter Ra, the default rule of the letter Ra, as you can see from my mouth movement, it is heavy. Ra. I'm making my mouth into an oval shape. Ra. However, there are exceptions and there are many rules pertaining to the letter Ra. The first thing that we need to analyze is the vowel that goes on the Ra. If the Ra has a Kasra, then it's light. Ri, Ri, Ri. If the Ra has a Fatha or a Dhamma, then it is heavy. Ra, Ru, Ra, Ru, Ri, Ra, Ru, Ri. Okay? Then if it has a Sakin, there are some extra rules. If there is a Sakin and before it there is a Fatha or a Dhamma, then the Ra is heavy. For example, Mursalun, Mursalun, Arsalna. However, if there is a kasra before it, there is an extra step, which is to look at the letter after, not the vowel, the letter after. If the letter after is heavy, the ra is heavy. If the letter after is light, the ra is light. For example, Fir'awna mirsadin. The word Fir'awn, I've made it light. Mirsadin, I've made heavy because sad is heavy, ain is light. So this is a summary of what we covered in the last session from the four rules, alhamdulillah, tanween, sakin, maddi asli, and the rules of the letters alif, lam, and ra. Now before we start with the next session, there is something that I wanted to introduce to the session, and that is for those that are sitting with the families and want to revise everything that I have learned, they have learned so far. And this is an exercise for the viewers. I have put a number of questions on the screen here. What I want you all to do, inshallah, as you can see on the screen, okay, the color might not be the best, but inshallah, I'll read through them, in the night ta'ala, is I'm gonna put these questions forward. What I want you to do with your family members 
is sit down, get a piece of paper and try to answer these questions and see who gets the most correct answers at the end of the session. What we'll do at the end of the session, we'll go over the questions and we will give the answers. And please do not cheat, inshallah. Try not to use Google, Mufti Google or whatever other platforms you have. Rather try to answer from the top of your head based on the sessions that you have followed. So the questions are as follows. What are the three med letters? Question number one. Question number two, how many heavy letters are there in the Arabic language and what are they? Question number three, you have three words under this question. Are they heavy or are they light and the reason behind as to why they are heavy or light? So we have the word Nasrullah, Qala and Fir'auna. Okay, so these are the three words, Nasrullah, Qala and Fir'auna, right? These three words, what I want you to do is analyze them and look at the words and find out if the word Allah, if the word Qa, Fir, the Ra and the Alif and the, uh, the Lam, are they heavy or are they light and the reason behind it. That's the most important thing. That's the reason behind as to why they are heavy or why they are light. The last question is, what is the dua when going to sleep? We learned a dua in the last session when you are going to sleep. So these are the questions. What I want you to do is all sit down with the family members and go over these and at the end of the session we will ask this uh, we will go over the answers and then you can see for yourself if you got it correct or not inshallah i'll say in bengali, bengali inshallah i'm not going to go to question or i'll say after the zaraf harba inshallah boya family hold the logic lawyer all question or hold the answer for by inshallah are he said i'm not going to program she should be back inshallah i'm the answer of the way more after the other one right as lanina wrong as inshallah barakallah fikum okay so moving on, inshallah, let us move to the lesson for today, inshallah. So the lesson that we will be covering right now is the lesson on Shedda. If you all remember, when we covered the vowels of the Arabic language, we covered the Fatha, we covered the Kasra, we covered the Dhamma, we covered the Tanween, we covered the Sakin, and now we have a final one, and that is the Shedda. Now what does a Shedda look like? It looks like a W on top of a letter. It looks like a... W on top of the letter. In simple, what is Shadda? Shadda is when you are doubling a letter. So for example, I want you to think of this in your head. You have the word Aba. Alif Fatha A, Ba Fatha Ba, Aba. Right? Now say for example, you had two Ba's. You had the first Ba as the Sakin and the second Ba as the Fatha. So you will read it as Ab Ba, right? Now try to read it together, Ababa, very difficult. So what happens is the doubling procedure, which is the Shadda, cancels out one of the bars, makes it one ba and puts a Shadda on top to indicate that they're actually two bars. So instead of saying Ababa, you will say Abba, Abba, right? You hold it for a second, Abba. Let's try with the Ta. For example, if you had Alif Fatha A, Ta Fatha Ta, Ata. What if you had two Ta's with one with a second? At ta, at ta, that's what the shadda would do. We have examples here which we can practice inshallah with the audience for us to understand bi'idhnillahi ta'ala. So what we will do is inshallah, we will take some phone calls if there, if inshallah there are phone calls so people can practice with us the concept of shadda. Do we have any phone calls? Okay inshallah, we have a few phone calls inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. 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 Inshallah. So I'm going to ask you lessons of the Shadda Rufri. Inshallah. I'm going to ask you a screen of the example of the Shadda Rufri. Inshallah. Yes. Inshallah. 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم حمزة حمزة زبر ا بازبر با ابا جينا اتش ا اتش بارو في شدداني سو با شد با اوكي سو لان خو لك تنعرف اني اخلوقي فري ليبا ابا اوكي شد بوزاني كنتا جي جي اجا سو شد ايلا تو دو با اي باكي وتشني Abba. Oh, what do you say? Atta. Atta. Adja. Akha. 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 Adda. 
Azza. Arra. Azza. Assa. Asha. Assa. Adda. Atta. Azza. Akha. Agha. Agha. He said Agha. Agha. Ghaynur, I guess, could be Agha. 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 أعا 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 ما شاء الله تبا very nice to say جزاكم الله خيرا دعاء الله وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله okay we will take the next caller إن شاء الله do we have another caller إن شاء الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بلاسني الحمد لله بلاسني الحمد لله بلاسني إن شاء الله بسم الله أقول يا أخت فرباب بإذن الله أوزي أيزي أوراني دي Oze dekha lai ogun fortam ni. Jia, jia, inshallah. Oh, oh, kalar de ko yag se nuta. Jia. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Aguli le se dekha lai na. Ab, abba. 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 Oh, tika se. Abba. Mhm. Asa. Ah, aja. Mhm. Aha. Aha. Adda, Azza, Arra, Azza, Asa, Asha, Aswa, Adwa, Atwa, Azwa, Aaa, Aaa, Aaa. Take us, mashallah. Aaa, 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 Aaa. Afa, Akka, Akka, Alla, Amma, Anna, Aha, Ar, Awa, Ay, Ayya. Ahsanti, mashallah, tabarakallah. Very good. Jazakum Allah khairan. Jazakum Allah khairan. Okay, alhamdulillah. So we took two calls there. Of course, we want to take more calls, but we will have uh, the uh, adhan coming up shortly, inshallah. So, if possible, we can possibly take another call. One more call. Okay, we have two minutes for one more call, inshallah. What we can do is let's take one more call, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Balasun. Jee, apni malasun yusuf. Jee, alhamdulillah. Amda two minutes, inshallah. जब तक उन फारोल फोर्स दो मिनट बीत रही इंशाल्लाह फ्री लेबर इंशाल्लाह ठीक है जी जी अच्छा होगा आज बिलाय मिनाशाही को अनिराजी बिस्मिल्लाह ही रहमान ही रहीम नज़ल ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ
Alhamdulillah, before the break, we covered the rule of Shadda and we also uh, covered, uh, did a revision session of what we have covered in the previous sessions. Inshallah, we will continue with this uh, session of Shadda. We will take in a few more phone calls by Idnina Ta'ala to allow the audience to practice this concept of Shadda. Thereafter, we will move on to the next rule, Inshallah. So if you do have any phone calls, please, Inshallah, let us engage with the audience. Uh, so we'll take this phone call. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Barakatuh. MashaAllah, tabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, fani bala sayyidu nani. Jiwa, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah, fani sound very clear as well, alhamdulillah. Agi khuizun gurai sing sound not clear as well. Fani sound, mashaAllah, very clear as well. Jiwa, inshaAllah, alhamdulillah. Fani ready as well, that's the lesson lagi. Jiwa, jiwa, ready. InshaAllah, okay, bismillah. Okay, ta amra inshaAllah. Fani dekhla to screeno nani ase. InshaAllah, mi toy. Oh, 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 mi ada surah kita kari inshaAllah. Dekhta farani. Jiwa. InshaAllah, ta okta ta please farba inshaAllah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أبا أتى ما شاء الله شنو هي خيرة بشي لون بخور بنا بتشيني خير بنا أب أتى 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 أجا أحا أخا أدا أزا أرا أزا أصا أشا.أشا.أدا.أصا.أصا.أدا.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.أتى.
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, we'll stop with the phone calls for now, inshallah, and we'll move on to the next part of the session, and then we will take phone calls bi idhnillahi ta'ala. Okay, so we have roughly around 20 minutes or so, inshallah. Let's try to uh, cover whatever we have left for today's session. So, moving on, when we were talking about the shadda, the shadda we mentioned is doubling up on the letters. But when it comes to shadda, there are two letters. When we double the sound, there, there's going to be an extra sound which is known as the ghunna, which is known as reading from the nasal area. And these two letters are the letter meem and the noon. When the letter meem have a shadda on it, we call it a ghunna and we don't just call it a shadda. So for example, if you have the word inna, if you have a shadda on the noon, you will say it like this. Inna ma'al usri yusra. Okay? Noon and Meem both, if they have a Shadda, you make a Ghunna sound and you prolong it for at least two counts. So these are the two letters that are exception from the rule of the Shadda. What are these two letters? The letter Noon and the letter Meem. Okay, so inshallah, of course, that was a simplified version of this rule. What we can do is inshallah, we can take more phone calls so people can practice this rule of Ghunna. Inshallah, have we got phone calls inshallah? Next caller, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah. Bala Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Okay, so I'm not going to say that I'm 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 going to Hamalah. Oh, to guess. Muhammadun. Mashallah. Ul Muzam. Al. Sorry. Al Muzamil. Okay, so Zaruf Shaddase. Al Muz. Al Al Muzamilu. Oh, to guess about Mimri Runakur by Inshallah. Zamilu. Mashallah, Mashallah. Fa Fa Ummuhahu. Fa Ummuhu. Mashallah, Bade. Lamman. Lamma. Lamma. Oh, mashallah. So, they are subtle to the other. Do you like it? Oh, take us in. Summa. 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 Okay, mashallah. Bade. Lai. Lai. Summa. Mashallah. Oh, take us in. Bade. Jannatin. Anna. Im. Ech, look at. Jannatin. Jannatin an naim. Oh, okay. An naim will ikhla ta join khole. Acha. Alif zaygi. Acha. Jannatin naim. Oh, tika se. Unnisa. So, unna ita ilo saadu freita ita alif khiba. An nisa. Fatha. Acha. An nisa. Mashallah. An nuri. Mashallah. Inna. Mashallah. Ka anna. Mashallah. وَيُمَانِهِمْ Waalaikum salam. Balasain. Ya alhamdulillah. Balasain. Ya alhamdulillah. Insyaallah. Bismillah. Kalau kau insyaallah. Auz bilah min shaytani wajib. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hamalat Muhammadun. Masyaallah. Al Al Mujam. ما شاء الله زاخي بالموز الموز جميل غن آخر بمي مورفة الموز جميل ما شاء الله ما شاء الله فا فا أمه ما شاء الله ما شاء الله لما سما سماونا ما شاء الله لا Layu layu samuna. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Zaman tina 
آسا آن نعیم اخلاقی لوی به اخلاق جای فلک خیبر جناتین جناتین آم نعیم نه الیف رخ فرا لگت نه ایتا کامسل ویزه جناتین نعیم جناتین نعیم ماشاالله آم نسا ماشاالله آم نوری ماشاالله این very nice to say alaykum salam rahmatullah inshallah we'll take the next caller bi idhnillah ta'ala assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam rahmatullah alhamdulillah 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 bismillah انشالله زودم بذارم بیزونه فرمان نه. انشالله. افنه میمتره خوری لیبا. آر دزدی خوب باتن تن نون تخور بان انشالله. جیوزه. آگه. اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم. بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم. لما ثم سماعون لا 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 يسو لا يسم لم بخور لا يسم جي لا يسمون ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله جنات النعيم أمم جنات أو كده كذا جي النساء ما شاء الله النور Inna inna kan kaanna wayuma way wayuma niim niim ni esudu dale wayuma ni wayuma niim. Mashallah. Ya zunun. ما شاء الله ما شاء الله very nice استاذ ما شاء الله دعاء خورن جدا وصلنا بلا جامعة تاني جدا موجود إن شاء الله تيك أستاذ هلا السلام عليكم عليكم السلام ورحمة الله بسم الله بلاسني الحمد لله إحنا بلاسين تناني إنتي بسم الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هم لا لا ت محمد المن محمد محمد ما شاء الله المزمل غنا غنا عند الميم المزمل أوكي المزمل ما شاء الله فأم فأ فأ فأمه excellent very good لما ثم okay so the meme don't prolong the meme ثم 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 Uh, the session for today inshallah alhamdulillah so again to summarize we covered the rule of shadda and the rule of ghurna inshallah in the next session we will practice more and these concepts are very important for us if we can you know get the foundation strong then everything else will become easier for us ta'ala inshallah so what we're going to do now inshallah we're going to move on to the next part of the session and that is the last part of the session and that is regarding uh, the dua uh, that we do. So as we mentioned that every session we will try and learn a dua. So far we have done two duas. We have done the dua of going to sleep and the dua of waking up, right? And now we will be learning another dua. So the first thing a person does once he wakes up, of course, he'll be going to the uh, al-khala, the bathroom or the toilet. So when going to the toilet, the, our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa we have to understand that every aspect of our life, Allah, uh, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has given us guidelines as to what we should do or how we should do it in terms of the prophetic traditions. 
And there is a dua that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would read when he would enter the bathroom. Okay. So when entering the bathroom, the first thing that we need to understand is that we should enter with the left foot, right? And we should exit with the right foot. When entering with the left foot, there is a dua that should be read. And I will repeat this dua, read this dua for you. And it's a very easy dua and we'll try and learn it together. So the dua is as follows. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khaba'if. Again, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khaba'if. One more time. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khaba'if. Now as you can see, there's the first thing that I want to mention is that we do not need to apply the rules of Tajweed when we are reading other than the Qur'an. So this is a dua. So we don't have to say Allahumma and do the ghunnah. Okay? So this is the first thing. Second thing is, the meaning of this dua is, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I seek refuge in you from the khubuth wal khaba'ith. Khubuth wal khaba'ith. Khubuth and khaba'ith can be known as the evil shaitan from the male and female of shayateen. Uh, this is what the description of khubuth and khaba'ith is. In another wording of the hadith, we find that the word khubth is used. And both are correct in their own manner. Khubth. With this taskeen of the ba, khubth. Khubth is known as any type of evil. Right? So if you read it in some du'as as khubth, you'll see it as that. But we're going to take it as khubuthi wal khaba'ith. And that is the male and female shayateen. So we say the du'a again. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khaba'ith. Now what we will do is inshallah before we complete the session we did mention that we will go over the exercise for the viewers inshallah and then we will allow the audience inshallah call in again to practice the dua at the beginning of the session after we covered the revision session we give a little exercise for the viewers we said to practice this uh, with your family members so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to answer the questions that are on this exercise and you can check if you and your family members got it right or got it wrong. If you got it wrong, then you know where you need to practice. So the first question that we had was, what are the three mud letters? The three mud letters are Alif, Wow, and Ya. Yeah. So if you got that correct, you can give yourself a pat on the back. Alif, Wow, and Ya. Yeah. The next question that we had was, how many heavy letters in the Arabic language and what are they? They can be combined. Firstly, they are how many letters? Seven letters. Okay. And they can be combined in the word khussa. Dhaghtin qidh. For those of you who didn't memorize the word but got the letters right, kha, saad, daad, ghain, ta, qaf, and dha, then you can give yourself a pat on the back, inshallah. The next question that we had was three examples and we want to know if these words are heavy or light and the reason behind it. That's the most important part. So we have the word Nasrullah. The word Allah Nafzul Jalala in this word is heavy. And what's the reason? Is because before it on the letter Ra there is a Dhamma. The next word is the word Qala. Is the Alif heavy? Yes, because before it there is the letter Qaf. And then we have the last word, the word Fir'awna, which is the most difficult of them. Ra, is it heavy? It's light because before it there is a Kasra and after it there is the letter Ayn. Okay? And then we have the last question and that is, what is the dua for going to sleep? And what is it? Allahumma bismika amutu wa ahya. Okay? Or you can say, bismika Allahumma amutu wa ahya. So if you got these questions right, you can give yourself a pat on the back, inshallah. If you got them wrong, let it be a reason for you to be motivated to, inshallah, in the next session for the exercise, for you to all get the questions right. Okay, so what we will do now, inshallah, we have roughly about four or five minutes. We will take phone calls for those who want to practice this dua, and I will also question them to read the dua of going to sleep and waking up, inshallah. So do we have any phone calls? Inshallah. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.
আল্লাহ <laughs> আগে <laughs> আচ্ছা <laughs> আলহামদুলিল্লাহ <laughs> আল্লাহ <laughs> Inshallah. 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 As you can see, Alhamdulillah, the audience is engaging with us and we are learning many prophetic traditions. And sometimes you may feel embarrassed as to why you don't know this. Well, that's fine. You know, we all learn. We are at our different stages in life. And, you know, learning is something that is from the cradle to the grave. There is no age restriction. You could be learning a dua right now that a person who has learned at the age of five and you're at the age of 50. It does not matter. Alhamdulillah, we should motivate one another to learn the prophetic traditions and most importantly, impl- uh, you know, implement it within our lives. We shouldn't restrict it to just learning it. So we'll take the next call, inshallah, and then after that we'll finish the show. So next call, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Bala sun. আলহামদুলিল্লাহ <laughs> আল্লাহ 
Kubusi Al Habayiz. MashaAllah, Tafa. Very nice. Jazakumullah khairan. Alhamdulillah. So Alhamdulillah, as you can see, all of those who have been watching in or those who will watch in later, Alhamdulillah, as you can see, we are progressing with this session or these, this program. We are not only learning the Tajweed aspect to the Qur'an, we are also implementing certain ad'iyah, certain uh, supplication that the Prophet ﷺ would make uh, during certain periods of the day. Certain very important parts of the day when you wake up, when you, you, know, when you go to sleep, when changing clothes, etc. We will be learning many du'as. And if we take on ourselves that every session we will learn one du'a, by Allah, by the end of it, we will be learning many du'as, inshaAllah. And the most important thing for us as followers of the best man to walk the face of this earth, the Prophet wasallam, is that we follow him and we implement that which he uh, implemented. So we can do that by learning the du'as and also uh, practicing some of the tradition of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept it from us all, any shortcoming, and that is from myself and shaitan. And if there is any good from this session, then it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa jazakum wa khayyam. We will finish off for today. Barakallahu feekum. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka. Wa atubu ilaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.